everybody, I'm Kate Schwenke and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a fun new packing video for you guys, as well as a review for the brand new Jujube Everyday Mini Plus. Now technically you can use this as a diaper bag because it does come with a light change pad included in the bag. But today I don't have it packed up for that because I am all done with babies. <laughs> all of my boys are like six years old and up. So this bag today I actually have packed for myself for a trip to Disney or another type of theme park. So this bag only has essentials for myself in it, but I did wanna show you guys how well it can hold set pieces and bottles and things like that because this bag is perfect to use as a diaper bag, but also to use for everyday purposes. So I also wanted to mention that this adorable new Be More mini print from GGB and Disney is going to be releasing on January 16th. So mark your calendars and I'd love to hear it down in the comments below what is on your wish list for this release. And I would love if you guys would shop Jujubee with me on January 16th when this releases. I will leave my affiliate link down in the description below for you guys. You can shop through that anytime. So first, before I jump on into the dimensions and how I pack this bag up and all of that good stuff, I did wanna talk about this adorable print. So let's look at this. This is Be More Mini. You guys have a classic Minnie Mouse with her pillbox hat here with the little flower in it. Her little blue with white polka dot skirt, which I am just obsessed with. I love this outfit on her. It's so cute. She has her little yellow shoes, her signature white gloves. She is jumping for joy here. She has her eyes closed in this one. There's also another one here where she has her eyes open. So. It's just how the print is on here. You have like a line of her with her eyes closed and then a line of her with her eyes open. And it's just all over, it's so cute. You have a pale pink. I like to call it strawberry milkshake pink because that's like one of my favorite colors. <laughs> and then you have white polka dots on that background. And the lining on this bag is actually white with pink polka dots. So it's a reverse print on the inside and it's really cute. I also love these enamel tags that GGB does on their bags now. It just complements the prints so well, but they're also just so, so nice and pretty and I love them. And I just absolutely love that it's pink to match the bag. <laughs> so now that you guys have seen the print up close, let's go ahead and jump into some of the specs this bag offers because I'm not sure if Jujubee has any of the specs up for this bag yet. So you will find them here if you have not seen them yet. I did measure this bag myself though, so <laughs> they're pretty accurate. So the size of this bag is, it is eight and a half inches wide and that is not including the side um, width because I have this bag pretty packed right now. What it includes is the dimensions from here to here, seam to seam. So that is eight and a half inches wide. The dimensions on the height of the bag I have are 11 inches and it goes from the seam at the bottom here all the way to up here. And it's, I want to say it's almost even like slightly, like maybe a few millimeters short of being 11 inches. So just keep that in mind if you're trying to fit like a tablet or something in here. And then the depth of the bag, I am including this here. This is four inches. And then right here, this is just slightly wider than one inch. And this pocket is in an area all of its own. So I'm saying four inches for here and like an inch and a few millimeters on this one here. So uh, hopefully that helps you guys out. I know if I had never seen this bag before out and about, to really know the size, I would find that information helpful. So hopefully that's helpful for you guys. This bag actually has five pockets. You have your very front pocket here. This has a one zipper pull opening. There's also one interior pocket inside with a zipper. You have two bottle pockets, one on each side of the bag on the inside of the bag, as well as a slip pocket. So those are your five pockets. You do have a grab handle up here. This is a nylon strap handle. It's pink, just like the rest of the print. On the very back of the bag here, you have two nicely padded straps. I have worn this bag. It is super comfortable. Even with all of the things that I have loading this bag down inside, it's still very comfortable. So I think this bag is gonna be perfect for taking two theme parks, namely Disney. <laughs> but these are really comfortable. It is a thin foam strap. Um, but they're really easy to take on and off when you are trying to get the bag on and off. Technically, you can wear this bag just as a backpack, but I have worn it on my front as well. So if you are like baby wearing with your baby on your back, you can wear this bag on your front if you wanted to. It, it's very adjustable, as you guys can see here. There's also some new anti-slip type of hardware under here. 
And I will show you guys that. You see those, those teeth there? They kind of prevent the strap from slipping back, so I really like that. You also have this here. This is an elastic strap, so it's nice and tight, but it's also movable. So it goes all the way down here. If you don't like to have slack on your bags like me, <laughs> I like to keep my strap secure and out of my way. And I love that this goes all the way down here and it's not detachable down here. So it really keeps that strap secure and in place so you don't have to worry about it. And if you don't care so much about that, you can just pull this up and have a little bit more slack. And this is pretty easily adjustable, but like I said, it doesn't I'm pulling on this, you guys. That is a good <laughs> a good sign. I'm pulling really hard and it's not slipping. So if you want to readjust it, you're gonna have to thread it like this. So you can adjust it to be tighter faster than you used to be able to, which is great, but loosening it back up is a little bit more difficult now, but I love that. So I'm obsessed with that new feature, love it. <laughs> Besides the straps back here, you don't have anything else going on. It is just a flat, plain surface. So it is it is padded though, so it's really comfortable on your back. So that is the outside of the bag, you guys. And if I didn't mention, you do have a double zipper opening on the very top here, and it goes about halfway down the bag. And as you can see, that zipper kind of goes this way. But it's really cute, I love this. It's adorable. <laughs> So let's go ahead and unpack this bag and you guys can see all the things that I have inside as well as the pockets that are in here. So let's go ahead and open it up. Oh, I did forget this because I mentioned it in my other video. And if you guys missed my unboxing, I will link it right here for you guys. I have other styles in there, but I am obsessed with these zipper pulls. They are so cute. They don't snag you at all. Uh, they're really easy to get your finger through and to like unzip your bag. See how smooth those zippers are? Isn't that lining adorable? It's so cute. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and go through the very front pocket here. So this is what you have going on on the inside. In the front here, I just have my cell phone. A lot of times when I'm at theme parks and things, I like to keep it in my pocket for easy access, but I did wanna show you guys that this does fit in here, laying sideways. This is an iPhone 14 Pro, and I did test it, and it can stand up like this, and it does clear the zipper takes a little bit more work, but you can make it stand up if you needed to. So I have that in there. I also have next to that, this adorable set piece in the Be More Mini print. So cute, I love it. <laughs> in here, I just have some of my favorite lip colors. Um, I am a huge fan of Chanel <laughs> lip colors. They are super moisturizing, but I have some of my favorite colors down in there. I also have my go-to chapstick here. This is an EOS like cupcake smelling one and I get so many comments on this one. It never fails. Every time I put it on, somebody says something. I also have an oil absorbing roller stick because I don't really wear makeup when I go to theme parks besides my lip colors and a chapstick maybe. But I do like to have my oil absorbing roller ball because I'm kind of combination oily dry skin <laughs> and I want to take care of my T-zone while I'm out and about. So. That is what is inside my small set piece, and those fit in here perfectly. I also have a couple things in this zippered pocket here. I have a panty liner just in case, and I also have a sanitizer, because that is, to me, like a top must-have when I go to theme parks and things. I don't like to have germs on my hands if possible, especially for the kids, so that is a must-have. Those things fit perfectly back in this pocket, this pocket, um, I know it looks like it goes up under here, but it doesn't. So you don't have any extra clearance right here. The pocket itself, mm, can you guys see? I think only the length of my fingers is how deep it is. Once again, really smooth zipper pocket there. And that is what it looks like empty. So that is the front pocket of your bag. Let's go ahead and jump onto the inside. So let's go ahead and open the main compartment. This is how I have it packed up in here. As you can see, I have a decently sized swell bottle on one side. As I mentioned, they do have an elastic mesh pocket, one on each side of the bag. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with, I think I'm gonna actually go through the middle compartment first, just so you guys can see what those pockets look like when they're full on the sides. So let's go ahead and go through the first thing. 
As you guys can see, I have my wallet here. Normally, like if I'm out and about during a normal day, I would just have my wallet in the front pocket, even though I, I don't really like doing that, but it just frees up more space on the main compartment of the bag. But when I'm in a theme park, especially, I want this safe in like the main compartment <laughs> so that I don't have to worry about somebody jacking my wallet basically. So I have my Madewell wallet here and I am obsessed with this one. It is so cute and super handy. So that I had at the very bottom down in the front there. Behind that, I have this rose gold glitter pouch. I think I got this from Target a long time ago, but I just love the glitter and the pinkish colors with this print. So in here, I just have a few things for myself. So on the top here, I have a hand cream and I have a scrunchie, a little mirror, my inhaler, just in case. I also have a pill case in here. This has allergy pills, ibuprofen, and Dramamine, just in case we get a little sick on rides and things. I also have eye drops. I have dry eyes by the end of the day, and I look like I haven't slept in days if I don't use this. <laughs> so I have to have that on me. I also have a little folding hairbrush in there as well. So that was what was inside of my glitter pouch. Starting to empty out just a little bit. Back here, I have my medium set piece in the Be More Mini print. In here I like to keep a few snacks for myself. I don't have a ton in here, but I do like to keep my things a little separate from the kids if I can. So I have a pack of almonds. I especially love those. I have a go-go squeeze. And I have a granola bar for myself, as well as a couple of candies. These are so good. <laughs> And these are for me, I probably wouldn't share these. <laughs> Gotta eat them in secret around the kids. So that was in my medium set piece. And you can fit a large set piece in here, but not when you have uh, things in both pockets like I do, just FYI. So now that I have the inside mostly emptied, you guys can see, I actually was able to fit this swell bottle in that pocket down there. I did have to work at it a little bit, but I do like that it's secure, so you know, it's not going anywhere. <laughs> Either one of these, they're not going anywhere. So I'm really excited about that. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull this out. This is a 16 ounce swell bottle. It's not the smaller one and this is their Traveler. So it is a nice wide bottom. It's a good size cup. As you could see in the video, I am able to clear this zipper, no problem. And it's because of the way that they have the zipper come out a little bit more. It's not just a straight up and down zipper like I showed you guys before. So it allows for a taller bottle to be in this pocket back here. So you guys can actually fit something even taller back there, which is great. But this is a good size bottle and it fit back there, no problem. So if you have something similar size, go for it. <laughs> and then on this side here, I have my sunglasses or you can also keep your normal glasses in there. But when I am at a theme park, sunglasses are a must have. So that was in that pocket. You also have a padded. Yes, this has some foam to it. I suggest like something like a, an iPad mini would be really great back here if you had that, or if you wanna put electronics like your phone just to keep it extra padded back there. Um, this is a good pocket for that too, just to keep things safe. And you could even put a small camera if you wanted to. So that is what the bag looks like empty now. If you guys can see that okay. And that is my packing video and review for the Everyday Mini Plus. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. I would love to know your thoughts on the Everyday Mini Plus. Please comment down below and let me know what you think. I'm really hoping that they make more prints in this particular bag because I would probably buy them all. It's just the right size for me. It holds all of my necessities. I love it. <laughs> And I highly recommend it and definitely add it to your wish list for this release. Don't forget this bag and this print is releasing on January 16th. And I would love if you guys would shop Jujube with me. I will leave my affiliate link down in the description below for you guys. If you enjoyed this video and found it fun and helpful, please give it a big thumbs up and definitely subscribe to my channel while you're here if you're new. Thanks for watching.